One way of using Perfectly Clear is to let the software automatically analyze your images and make recommended adjustments. You can also guide this process by using presets. Let's take a look at correcting your images with Perfectly Clear. Make sure Adobe Photoshop is running and then open an image that you'd like to correct. I've opened a few images to show you the different presets in Perfectly Clear. With the image selected that you want to use, make sure its layer is highlighted in the Layers panel and choose Filter, Athentech Imaging, Perfectly Clear Version 2. The Perfectly Clear window opens and the software goes to work immediately, automatically correcting your photo. By default, the Details preset is applied to your image. A preset is simply a combination of adjustments. Think of it as a recipe that's been designed to solve specific problems. You can choose from any of the eight presets designed by Perfectly Clear to quickly improve your photo. While presets cannot be combined, you can modify them or create your own, but more on that later. Let's take a quick look at each and see what they're designed for. We'll explore each in greater depth in another video. The details and Vivid presets are designed to work on all image types. Both are very useful to improve most images, and you can decide which you like best for general enhancement. Let's click OK to apply the adjustment. Now we can switch to another image. The next two presets, Beautify and Beautify Plus, work well for portraits. Beautify Plus applies stronger adjustments to your subject. Let's apply the adjustments and switch to another image. If you have a really dark photo, try the Fix Dark preset. This works well to brighten your image. Dark images may also have a lot of noise. Let's zoom to a 100% magnification level by pressing the Z key to check the noise. Click on the image preview to see the before state. You'll see that this image had some noise but the Fixed Dark preset can also improve a noisy image. If you have an image that's not dark but has a lot of noise, such as shooting at a high ISO, then try the Fixed Noise preset. Let's zoom and check that out. And you'll see the before and after states. Quite a bit of noise is cleaned up as well as other general enhancements are made. If you shoot with an improper white balance setting, your image can have a strong color cast. In this case, try the Fixed Tint preset. And you see the cast is removed. The final preset is Landscapes. This preset is perfect for enhancing landscape images where you want a photo to pop. Now that you have a basic understanding of each preset, be sure to watch the Taking Control and Fine Tuning Your Photos section to learn more about each. For even more control, you can switch to the Adjust tab to modify, add, or subtract adjustments as needed. Remember, you can toggle an adjustment on or off to judge its impact as you learn what each does. As you master each adjustment, be sure to click in the preview area to see a before and after state, or switch to a different view to compare. If you change your mind and you want to exit without applying the filter, just click the Cancel button. Once you're satisfied with an adjustment, just click the OK button to process your image. Congratulations on learning how to make essential adjustments to your images with Perfectly Clear. Be sure to watch more of our videos to learn about what each adjustment can do to improve your images. Thanks for watching.